Hi guys, it's Karen, and I just wanted to bring you guys up to date. This is phase two of my commission piece. As you can see, um, I've done a little bit of off-camera work, not much. Uh, I did three seal coats on the wood, and I have added loose mica flakes to the river. Um to kind of bring out the shimmer in it and give it kind of a little bit of a gleam when I pour the blue and also to kind of help re represent that sandy bottom that it has so I am going to mix up some blue epoxy here and and I will be back with you in a few minutes and we will pour the river. Okay? So I will be back with you in a few. Okay guys, I'm back. I am ready to get started. Um, first things first, I am using for today's pour and for almost all the pours that I've been doing recently. I'm using this KS resin. I love it. I am now an affiliate. There will be a link in the box underneath if you want to use my link to order some. It um, runs about $70 a gallon in the U.S. only and uh, it's free shipping so you can't beat that. Okay, today I'm using uh, three different colors, four different colors actually. These are all going to be alcohol inks. I'm using Lake Blue. I'm using Sky. And I'm using this Ultramarine Blue. And then I'm also using um, a spray paint called... Hang on one second. Let me grab it. Uh, this is Duplicolor. Color Cast... And this uh, micro blue. And this is the can. Anyways, it's the same color as my Jeep. And I did do a test on my last piece to make sure that the spray paints and um, the alcohol inks uh, worked well together. So I'm trying to decide if I go with dark or light first. And I think. I'm going to start with one of my lightest colors first, which would be the spray paint. This is, um, you can see this is very, very translucent because we want to be able to see those mica flakes. And so we're going to start down here and we're just going to pour... This is going to take several pours to fill this canal, just so that you realize that. And I want that because that way if I come across a reaction or a color that I don't like, I still have room to pour over it. I'm very nervous <laughs> about this, believe me. This is, like I said, this is my very first commissioned piece. Um, <gasps> shit. No, 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 no. I just spilt all my resin. Oh, lordy. Okay. Well. <clears throat> oh, good God. I'm having one of those days already. But. We will save what we can here. Hang on, I'm off camera, but uh, I spilt my resin, so I got to try and get what I can out of it. Ugh, good Lord. What a mess. All right. Luckily, everything's covered in plastic. Alright, 
we shall try this again. <laughs> the next color that I wanted to try is Sky, which is also very translucent. This is an alcohol ink. And I wanted to kind of mix them so that I could see what I liked and what I didn't like. And then wait for the second layer of color. I'll know what colors I should use more of. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> One of the colors over there, and I can't remember if it's the darkest one or not, uh, doesn't have a whole heck of a lot left. Yeah. And that would be this one. This is Lake Blue. The one that I spilled all over the place. And I, of course, went over the borders of it. You can tell it's 7.30 in the morning. Because I'm not totally with it this morning. That problem was easy to solve. And now I'm going to go with my, the color that I'm really hoping is going to make this piece pop. And this is the ultramarine blue. I'm going to actually start down here with this one. Because in all the pictures of Seneca Lake that I saw, the dark blue was, this darker blue was the most prominent color in the lake. As you can see, some of the mica flakes have floated to the top, which is fine because there will be a second layer of color being put on this. And that, and that, my friends. is Seneca Lake. <laughs> All right. Let's torch this bad boy up and see what we got. I actually think 
I'd kind of like to mix some of them around a little bit. Like I said, I'm not real worried about the color right now simply because um, you know, there will be another two, maybe one or two layers more of late color going into this, so, so I'm not real concerned about, I just kind of want to see how the colors look. And I think that's awesome. And we're going to torture one more time. I wanted to be careful not to put too much in at once. No more than um, a third of an inch, they say. Um, my depth that my router was set on was a quarter inch. So I could, technically I could have done it in one pour, but I want to be able to do another pour on it. So. so that's it. That is phase two of Seneca Lake. And if you come back in another oh, 72 hours, maybe less, I will have another video up and we will see where we go from here. So, thanks for watching. Please uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And uh, feel free to comment. Any and all suggestions are always greatly uh, appreciated. So, And we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.